Good afternoon. My name is Chad Robertson. I'm a merchant here with Columbia Grain. And today I wanted to go through a recap of the September WASD that was just released today, September 10th. And I will be focusing on corn and beans. So looking first here at corn, some of the things I want to point out is the increase in area planted over the August projections, um, also highlighted below, but about 600,000 acres uh, is what they found to be planted uh, above where they were at in August. Uh, so therefore area harvested is going to increase with that. And the big thing to note here is the yield increase from August. Um, this is also above average trade expectations, which were closer to a 175.8 number. Another thing to notice here is taking beginning stocks up 70 million bushels um, due to mostly slower ethanol, as well as some um, roll and washout of old crop exports. So that's enough to bring production with the increased yield and increased area planted to just under 15 billion bushels there, left imports unchanged, and that's enough to increase supply uh, just over 300 million bushels. Uh, with the bigger supply, they took feed and residual up 75 million bushels. Uh, we should see more corn head north to Canada this year than an average year. And they also increased exports for the current marketing year by 75 million bushels as well. So total increase on use of 150 million bushels, but uh, does not offset production there. And so you can see ending stocks creeping up just over 1.4 billion bushels. Average trade estimates going to the report were closer to 1.39. Um, you can also notice here that the average farm price decreased by 30 cents. So a lot of numbers here. The one thing I want to point out is this is a state by state corn yield and corn harvested area by state. Um, have North Dakota highlighted here. They, September was the North Dakota corn yield at 108. That's up two bushels per acre from August, which was 106, uh, but still well below some of the previous years and well below the five-year average here. Uh, what should help offset that a bit is an increased harvested area of 470,000 acres. All right, switching our attention to beans here. Things to note, area planted, uh, about a 400,000 bushel or 400,000 acre decrease here. Um, and with it, area harvested going down as well. Uh, but what will offset that is a uh, increase in yield uh, by 0.6 bushels an acre. That is enough to increase production here by uh, 35 million bushels. You can see beginning stocks were also raised, similar reason to corn, um, some washout and, and carry over from old crop exports, given the new crop year, marketing year, excuse me, just started September 1. Supply was raised, crushing was taken down by 25 million bushels, but exports were raised 35 million bushels. All in all, you see uh, a total use that was increased 10 million bushels from August. Um, but the noteworthy thing here is ending stocks increasing 30 million bushels from August up to 105, 185 million bushels as projected ending stocks. Um, so while things are definitely still tied out there and, and warranting $12 beans, um, you can see the average farm price here is decreased uh, close to a dollar there. Again, going into a state by state um, of soybean yield and harvested area, both seeing in North Dakota here in the red, uh, WASD took North Dakota yield up one bushel an acre to 25 from 24, uh, still well below five-year average. They did uh, project that 100,000 more acres were going to be harvested though in the state. Touching quickly here on international, not much changed um, in the international corn and beans balance sheets. 
Uh, just a few things to note, the 2021 Brazil corn was lower to 1 million metric ton um, down to 86. There are, I guess, whisper numbers, if you call them, that that could be as low as 82, 81 when it's all said and done. Uh, that was offset, though, by an increase of 1.5 million metric tons with RG corn, so going from 48.5 to 50. Looking ahead into the upcoming Argentina and Brazil corn crops, Argentina corn was raised 2 million metric tons from the August WASDI from 51 to 53 on some recent precipitation they got there and more favorable potential planting conditions there. Uh, Brazil corn was left unchanged at 118 million metric tons. So you can see uh, uh, just how much the drought affected Brazil this last year, um, seeing these numbers here in the mid 80s and projected next year's corn crop at almost 120. And just really quick re quickly, price reaction uh, after the WASDI was released here at nine. Uh, you have corn here to the top left and beans down here in the bottom right. Uh, originally, uh, Complex wanted to move lower. As traders digest the numbers, we've seen, um, you know, roughly 10 cents in corn and, you know, roughly 15 cents in beans get added. Uh, overall, the, the report was a bit of... Uh, some call it a sleeper, uh, some call it neutral. Um, if anything, maybe slightly bearish. Uh, a lot of this price reaction could potentially be due to the ports and terminals down in Louisiana after hit hard by Ida. Those are getting up and going a bit quicker than expected. So that could be uh, one of the reasons why trade is uh, digesting these numbers with uh, bullish tint, but yeah, thank you.